Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all having an amazing morning or day or whatever time it is. For this video, I'm so excited to be trying out the billionaire morning routine, which is basically the morning routine that billionaire successful people do. And I felt as I, of course, want to be a successful person one day, I want to try it out, see what I like, see what I don't like, and share my thoughts with you guys. So I start off this video. Good morning, everyone. I have to whisper. So it's a lot darker out than I expected it to be, I guess with the time change, but that's alright. there i actually did a 30 minute yoga routine which was so nice and pleasant to do while i was finishing my yoga i noticed some beautiful birds chirping just listen how beautiful it is okay i just finished and it was amazing. I really love doing yoga, so I'm glad I got to do it this morning. And I got to do a 30 minute one normally for what I do do in the morning. It's just like a 10 minute one, so that was nice. But you're gonna let the birds, that's so pretty. Then I got ready for the next part, which was the cold shower. This is something that all billionaires and successful people do. And I was not really looking forward to this, but I did it anyway. And when I was done, it was so bright outside and it was so nice. It definitely woke me up. And I did some beautiful meditation. This was so nice. I did some self-love meditation, positive affirmations. It was so enjoyable and calming. Okay, I just finished my meditation. And I've never really meditated before. I just looked up this YouTube video, like self-guided meditation and it was really good she like she had to say like some positive affirmations and i kind of feel like it was a great day to start off my day look how bright it is outside now i absolutely love it and i just finished getting ready with my skincare routine i have a very simple skincare routine Then I read. Truth be told, I haven't read like a book for fun in like a few years. Um, but that's okay. I'm gonna start today, and this is definitely something I want to like be implementing into my routine. So I'm reading The Land of Stories, the first one. I've read this before, but like years ago. I remember it being really good, and it's like a fairy tale. I kind of forget. Yeah, so I remember that, but I don't really remember any details. So I just wanted to read with something I already kind of knew. So I'm going to sadly only read for like 15. Let me set a timer. So I like just finished, you know, my like literally 15 minutes and I read 20 pages. It was literally so good. I don't know why like I didn't read for so long. I guess like I kind of fell out of it. I didn't like it because of school, but like it's really good. I need, a, I need to look for a bookmark. Okay, I'll use my pre-wrap <laughs> as a bookmark. Wow, I'm, I'm kind of hooked. <laughs> 
I went downstairs and grabbed a muffin and some berries for breakfast. It's a very typical breakfast, but it was just enjoyable, something nice to have in the morning. Today we had double chocolate chip muffins, which we don't normally have, so just a little pockets of peace, some happiness for the morning. And I went upstairs to do my journaling, which is the last thing. I was so excited to do this before class. Basically, this journaling is very interesting and I kind of loved it. So I started off by writing on the top of the page the date and the day of the week it was on stuff. But then you start off by writing your to-do list. And for your to-do list, you're going to write personal and work. And you're going to write three things, three personal things that you want to do and three things for work that you want to do. So for my personal things, it was go to soccer practice, clean the basement, and FaceTime with friends to have that little bit of happiness. And then for work, I needed to order more Vistaprint cards, make some logo stickers, and then finish working on orders. Next is the 2B. So for the 2B, you write, what do you want to feel during the day? What do you want to, what do you want your goals to be during the day? Then you just take the rest of the page and fill it with things you're grateful for or positive affirmations. I filled up the rest of the page and this was just such a great way to finish up the morning positively or before you go to school and you sit at a desk or something. It's just, it's relaxing, it's on your bed write in your journal you could even write a little diary entry if you wanted to anything you want this is literally perfect and you're gonna love it and just make sure you're having an awesome day today and make sure you always take a moment for yourself this is really important make sure you're happy Hello guys, so the time is now 2.30 and I just kind of wanted to give a little reflection of my thoughts, kind of assess this morning routine. It took a while, I think that was partially because I was filming, I feel like if I wasn't filming it wouldn't have taken so long, but it did take a while. I definitely will be waking up earlier, I think my plan is to now wake up at 6.30 and basically going through the routine I'll just talk about what I liked and what I didn't like. So the first one was waking up at like 5, 5.30. I, I thought it was fine, I could definitely do it once but I don't think something could sustain and then next I had water which I typically always do that I'm gonna continue doing that I feel like it's a great way to start off your morning and then working out and I did yoga for that because I do because so I have soccer um typically so I didn't really need to work out early and I think I will continue doing yoga or the meditation that I did I really did enjoy the meditation but I just don't think it's something I want to do every day I might download a meditation app oh cold showers is a hard no i did not like the cold showers at all i literally took like a five minute shower plus i feel like i don't really need a shower in the mornings i shower every single day after practice so yeah showering is gonna be a no <laughs> then after meditation i oh i read this is something i want to start doing more i I forgot I liked reading, guys. Like, I'm telling you, I haven't read, like, seriously read in, like, three, three years, maybe? I don't know, but I'm back. I'm back, guys. So, I feel like reading for, like, 15, 20 minutes every morning is something I want to start implementing. And then I journaled. I like journaling. I feel like I don't know if I want to do the to be, to feel, all that kind of stuff. I feel like, I feel like I'm just going to think that. I'm not going to write that down. Maybe I'll journal if I'm, like, thinking about stuff. I was thinking maybe, like, doing, like, a brain dump at night and just setting a timer for, like, five minutes and then writing. But I think overall, I probably won't journal. So, in total, I kind of love the routine. I definitely, like, start off my day very nicely. I don't know if it's something that anyone could sustain, but I feel like there's different aspects that I'm definitely, and I feel like you can be implementing too. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot about the recalling your dream. Yeah, this was not helpful. I could not remember my dreams at all. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did and you kind of learned something and hopefully you can use one of these things in your morning routine. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and comment down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys.